For a lot of people, Vesta is a cafe. They've heard about it being somewhere you can get great coffee and it's only once they come in, they realise quite what's inside and it's so much more than just a coffee shop. It gives me enormous pleasure when I see people's faces when they walk through Vesta because what they're experiencing is something that they haven't seen before. Vesta is full of beautiful things, but the building itself inside in particular is a piece of art as well. An 1864 house, but it's untouched since the 1930s. Queenstown has a very strong history and there's very little of that left. I think buying a stuffed sheep that has just been made in a factory, not necessarily even in this country, and taking it away as a souvenir seems a real shame. The things that we have in here are from New Zealand, they are typical. This is what people are making and doing. Their stuff doesn't come from factories, it comes from homes. They're doing it because they love what they do. I've always felt that creative people are slightly hard done by in a way. They're never reimbursed for the level of their talents. By showcasing some of the best of what New Zealand has to offer here, I think we're doing our little bit to help keep some of those people employed and doing what they do best. What you get is something made with love and passion at the uh, risk of sounding cheesy. It's the oldest house in Queenstown. No electricity, no running water. They lived a very traditional lifestyle at a time where Queenstown was just booming around them. This was a little pocket that was left. Thank God, thank God it was.